Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Aquamate. Today we're unboxing the Bioscape CO2 generator. So make sure you stick around to see what this thing looks like and how we're gonna set it up and how it all works. Okay, so we have the Bioscape CO2 generator. It's a little bit different to your old CO2 systems. Basically, it's an empty canister that you create your own CO2 using a couple of chemicals. You can buy the chemicals direct from Bioscape. I've just taken a punt and I'm gonna try and do something that I picked up from my local supermarket. Basically, it's just like a normal CO2 system, except the empty canister, you do a mixture of bicarbonate sodium and citric acid and water and it instantly starts creating CO2. You capture that in the vessel and then we can put it into our aquarium. I have a few ideas of which aquarium I want to use this with but at the moment we're going to set it up we're going to test it out in the Iwagumi. We'll get that Monte Carlo carpet looking really really good but it's probably got a future in the, uh, the larger fish tank inside when I finish that brand new scape that I can't wait to share with you guys. Enough talking, let's open the box, let's see what's in here, and uh, let's get it up and running. All right, so let's move our ingredients over here. We'll have to uh, measure them with this soon. Move that water. <laughs> and let's take a look at this. All right, so you can pick up one of these for about $289. So they are not the cheapest method, but using some ingredients you can find at home or at your local supermarket, you can have CO2 running for what I'm told a couple months, but we're gonna test that theory out, aren't we? So let's open it up. Quick shout out to H2O Studios in Mitcham. Thank you very much for helping me get this. They didn't give it to me for free, but they did look after me with it. So. Uh, Thank you, Boaz, and thanks to the guys down there. And if you're in Mitcham, make sure you stop in and say hey. Whoa! Check that out. Wow. All right. This is just a uh, glass diffuser. Uh, that is not part of the pack. I picked that up as something separate because we're going to need that today. So I'll pop that over here. The old faithful instructions, they're handy. Uh, I have had a quick read through here already um, because I was trying to make sure I got the right ingredients to set this thing up properly. Let's check this thing out. This big silver bullet thing, look at that. Oh, very <laughs> heavy duty, looks fantastic. Um, pretty tall too, that will, <laughs> it will look pretty big next to my tank, but this is the vessel that's going to uh, hold our CO2. Am I? Yes. Harry's playing with his friends. <laughs> Virtually, because we're in lockdown. Uh, this here is our gauge. Now I am completely new to CO2 systems, so forgive me if I get anything wrong, but uh, this is going to be our pressure gauge to sit on top of here. And this is a filter. I think this goes inside the unit. I'll read the instructions and I will show you exactly what it does. This plugs our timer in. Where's that? Over here which is our bubble counter, is it? Bubble counter, yes. You're on one bubble per second is what I'm told as well. <laughs> so we're, we're learning all this together. This connects the uh, power to the um, bubble counter. The reason you need to have this on a timer is because you do not want to gas the fish. You can't run CO2 24 seven in your tank. Uh, you probably want to run it for about six to eight hours a day. Some Bioscape airline tubing, which would be perfect. That will plug straight into the diffuser that we got. Ooh. Here's just a nice simple stand for our unit to sit in. 
This here is just a uh, paper funnel, basically. So we can put our ingredients in here without spilling any. And we've got a few extra suction cups. I'll probably need them for a few other things as well. <laughs> All right, so I've read the instructions. So basically I'm a pro now. So just a quick recap. So this is our regulator. Uh, this is a gas drying cylinder. So basically remove the sticker that's there and screw that in there. Um, the gas comes up, hits these beads and it dries out the, uh, the gas or the CO2 uh, before it comes into the aquarium. So those two go together. This will sit up here and then we want to fill this with a little bit of water and that's our uh, bubble counter. This will switch the bubble counter on and off using the solenoid. So you basically, you've got to plug it into a PowerPoint timer, uh, which I'm not sure if I've got one right now. So I'll probably just set all this up and then I'll find a uh, PowerPoint timer specifically for the CO2. Uh, then, doo -doo, there's your pressure gauge, or you can let through more so you can increase the bubbles um, or decrease the bubbles. Then we attach our hose to the top of this. And then these are to keep it nice and neat. Click it onto the, the outside of the aquarium if you want it just to go straight up and then back over and then on the inside of the aquarium. And this will sit on the other side and this is our diffuser. So it will look nice and neat. So I'm gonna set all this up um, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna go over the ingredients for filling up the canister. So that was uh, not too bad. It's a little bit tricky trying to just measure everything out. Uh, I think in the future, what I would probably do is just get two 200 gram containers, fill them up, and then just use the one container. That way I know I've got the measurements perfect. Um, they're pretty spot on at the moment. You can buy both the ingredients from Bioscape in a container, all ready to go. You just use one of each. It's just gonna be a lot cheaper in the long run if you can try and uh, source your own from a supermarket. This is the bit where we need to sort of be quick because um, once the water goes in, we're gonna start producing CO2 straight away. We need to hold it on a 45 degree angle and uh, do that. Let's just uh, do a practice run. Closing this. All right, that's not too bad. It stopped for a second, so. <laughs> it's very solid stuff. Let's go. So this is 300 ml of water. Bang, off, and we're sealed. You don't need to do it too tight, just uh, just tight enough that you know that it's sealed off. Let's take it over there, plug in the bubble counter, get it to one bubble per second, and check that the diffuser's working and we're ready to go. Now it's perfectly natural for this to feel really cold uh, once it's all uh, having that chemical reaction inside, so completely normal. Should last two months, 60 days is what it says it should last for. Uh, then we just give it a clean out and go again. So 
let's plug it in. All right, so we are setting it up on this Iwagumi. We've got the diffuser in there. Uh, I need to top up the water, don't I? God, I'll top up the water. But we haven't got much movement on the pressure gauge at all. Uh, I did read there that it can take up to 24 hours. Thought it would do something pretty much straight away considering it produces CO2 straight away. So I'm gonna sort of set this in place. It's gonna just sort of live behind my computer where I edit and uh, do the live streams. Make sure you catch them every Saturday or Sunday, at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Well, it's Australia. never handy when uh, the battery runs out. <laughs> uh, all right, so you can have a little look. It's getting a bit darker here. Let's try and focus in on there. Whoop. All right, so we've lifted just off zero. We still haven't got a lot going on but I needed to plug it in. So now we've got roughly one bubble per second. And check it out. We have working CO2 in the Iwagumi. I'm gonna move this. There we go. I'll move this behind there so we can't see it. Uh, this is a bit stiff. It's a bit of a pain in the butt, but uh, it will get less stiff as time goes on and I'll be able to manipulate it a bit more, but how cool is that carpet gonna look now? Really hope you guys enjoyed that unboxing. It's a really cool product. I'm really happy with it. The quality is fantastic. I am going to give you a little bit of a B-roll so you can have a little bit more of a look at the Iwagumi. After all, it's one of my favorite tanks. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come back in four to six weeks. We're gonna see how that carpet's growing and we're gonna then sort of have a bit of a verdict on what we think about the Bioscape CO2 generator. Thank you guys as always. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more stuff coming up. We've got two videos every week coming out and a bunch of live streams. Also really excited to say we've hit 20 episodes of the Aquamate experience. I started a while ago, me just talking to a couple of people and it's sort of branched out all across the world. So I'm really happy to say that we're continuing to do the Aquamate experience and we'd love to see you guys in the chat when we do it. Thanks a lot as always guys. Remember when you get new fish, always acclimate them first. I'm Josh from Aquamate. We'll see you soon.